place is amazing! Yeah, it's gotta be like at least a hundred years old. An archaeological marvel! Glad you boys are impressed, because it looks like I'll have to go on from here alone. Do it, Sly. This place was built for you. We'll hold down the fort here. Hmm, could be dark in there. My ancestors sure knew how to decorate. Nothing but big piles of gold. This place was started by Slight and Common II. He built his fortune in the employ of the great pharaohs. That must have been around 1300 BC. So basically, you're going through this entire level, reading through all the ancestors' stories, and then you can actually proceed in this level. Yeah, I said level twice. But yeah, that's, that's all you kind of do. And that's really amazing because that means you can just write, um, just go and read all the stories that that they that they have been through. And that's actually one of my favorite moments of this entire series, just going through everywhere and just read about their stories. Sir Galloth of the Knights of the Cooper Order, honorable knight and cunning thief. The best part is you're getting a lot of uh, coins out in uh, this place. Yeah, and look how much gold there are in this. The, this vault. No wonder it's going to be called the, the Koopa Vault, because you know they're thieves, so they're bound to get uh, get to be filled with a lot of gold from this entire world. Like this vault is the, is made so that it's for thieves. So all this money is definitely not theirs. They just stole. They just stole it rightfully. And here is Salim. Salim Al Qatar of Arabia. It was said that he had a stealth of 40 feet. So yeah, when I actually reached this level and beat the game, I had just gone through this very same level over and over because I really just like to just go through this and just read all the stories. It was around the time I really do love the... I really do like English. Uh, I mean, uh, the history, because history was one of my favorites, um, I don't know how to say it actually in English, but yeah, English was just one of my favorite subjects, because it's just about our world story, how it came to be, so maybe it's just very inter interesting for me to see how the Cooper has evolved and grown and born, and that's what we're seeing here, just learning everything here. And once I heard about the Slime Forge just returning in uh, Slime Time, I was hooked. The strongest of the Cooper clan, Slain the Cooper, could break any lock with a single blow. He's a very strong Cooper. Probably the strongest. Yeah, so when I first heard about the Slime Four, I really wanted to get that game because not only is it about Slime Cooper returning to form again after 8 years, that also means I can just re go back in time and explore some of these uh, Cooper, uh, some of the other Coopers uh, that's that's come to this world before Sly. Yeah, so I really do like this game. I do see some of the problems, but I didn't quite mind it too much. It's mostly about the Sly and the writings um, in this, uh, how the story was um, written. I really do wish that we could go through many more of the ancestors but I guess five is fine I mean some of them I really do like they they have brought um, two slide for like Tennessee Kid Cooper um, what was his name again Sir Galif and Salim and and um, yes this ninja guy the ninja spire landing was perfected in feudal Japan by Ryoichi Cooper yeah, Ri Ricci. Ri Ricci. <laughs> well, he was the one. He was the one who invented the Ninja Spire Jump, the very first move that Sly has learned. Now we just have to avoid these very simple death traps. Just gonna wait. But I really wish they didn't bring uh, Bob into this to the game because I didn't find him that interesting. Because here's this one. Wait, you can't see it? 
Okay, now I can see it. Because the next one is about a Cooper that's been at the time of the pirates. And that's the one I really wanted to return in in Slide 4. Henri at one eye Cooper sailed the seas and stole from pirates. Guess I really take after her. Yeah, one eye Cooper. I I find her interesting just because of the design, or maybe it's just about the, the pirate theme again. Loot! That's because I got a lot of coins. So, yeah. It's only Bob that I was just disappointed by, but the others, I'm totally fine with them being in Slide 4. This death trap actually reminds me of Mrs. Ruby from Slide 1 in Episode 3. And now we're sliding down. Woo! And there we're gonna see... Uh, yes, Tennessee Kid Cooper. Tennessee Kid Cooper learned to slide along railroad tracks in the Old West. Yes, that's the second move that Sly has learned. And yeah, that's the most fun of them all because, yeah, you're just sliding. What is more awesome and cool uh, than sliding on rails? Okay, I am stone rich just by collecting these coins alone here. I wish all these coins uh, at this area was uh, was can be um, collected physically because, as you can see, they're just a pile of 2D. But they're money. I really want those money. Anyways, let's go. I believe we've already passed through half of this stage. No! Wait! What? I was, I was suddenly bumped away. This one can be tricky. Okay, no. Pretty easy. But on but like Psych said, only a Cooper could get in. Even with a cane, you may have a hard time to just pass through just one of them. Or only one actually. Because some of them are kinda hard. Can you actually just land on the tip of the swords? And not anyone can do that. Maybe slide on rails or something, a, uh, let's say a blue hedge I can do, but... You, oh, you kinda need a soap shoes for that. Victorian era London was the stomping grounds for the most gentlemanly of the Thaddeus Winslow Cooper. Okay, this guy is also very interesting, because this is basically, this is, this is basically the same cane that I have, but with, with a gem. I mean, I believe... What time was it again? I actually didn't hear. Because the, the volume is pretty low. But that is that character I want to see in Slide 4. Hopefully in Slide 5, if it ever happens. Maybe we have to wait another 8 years. I mean, I do find it strange that what just happened. Dude! I do find it weird that after Slime 4, we just we just suddenly hear about a slime movie, and then suddenly we just never do again. Like it's like the trailer's there, but the new but the movie never appears. They're not even making a second trailer. I mean, is it even uh, made by a real company? I really do hope so. Besides being a theme, Otto von Cooper was a great fighter ace and mechanic. Yeah, it's made by Ottoman Cooper, the guy who taught Sly how to make machines, basically. <laughs> That's basically what they're saying here. He can just create uh, some new, uh, some new machines that he can just ask Bentley to do, unless he has a very special blueprint to give them. We can make it. We did it. Okay, we're all we almost at an end. Give me those money. Now I have to be very careful about this. Because it can actually cut off slice of foot. Oh yeah, like that. Well That was close. And now we here at the present. Because there's no time like that. 
This must be my father's work. How am I supposed to get through this thing? He made this challenge for a move I've never learned. There's nothing like this in the previous Raccoonus. Come on, Dad. Help me out here. Come on, Dad. Help me out here. I'm dead, remember? Aw, oh, man. We still can't see his father's face. Well, that's too bad. I really like to see this glorious uh, raccoon face of his. But basically, we can actually slide on the laser. Learn Sly's father's move. That's what it says. So yeah, you're sliding on the laser. And you're never going to do that in Sly 4. Why? Nice work, Dad. And there's, yeah, a bunch of lasers and we can just slide on it. Because I'm Sly Cooper. So I'm sliding on the- Whoa! Okay, that was close. And here we are. This must be the inner sanctum. I wish Bentley and Murray were here for this. Do it, Sly. This place was built for you. We'll hold down the fort here. This is going to be the payday of all time! Think of all the loot piled up back there! Do you ever feel like you're playing second fiddle to Sly? Like he treats us as sidekicks? No way! Sly's cool! We're all in this together! Sure, we're all here, but are we equal? Who went into the vault? Sly. By himself. Watch out! Oh. Dr. M's goons? They must have forced the door after we opened the lock! Think of it this way, Bentley. If it were you in that vault and Sly and I were out here, what would he do? Stop these thugs and protect his friend. Right, and that's what I'm gonna do. Keep your head down, stay clear. I'm gonna smash a lot of skulls and I don't want yours to be one of them. See, this kind of proves that they're all equals together. You may, people may think that Murray is kind of like the third wheel on this, but he's just as big of a, yeah, basically, he's just as big of a friend as, as the others. There's no first, second, or third. A first, second, and third. They're all in this together, equally. So, what you have to do is just beating up some goons, and hopefully they get out. And I'm throwing you out. Boom! I mean, are we going to uh, fight off one of these elephants that uh, Dr. M has? Like, one of them named Richard uh, kind of died because he put- because Dr. M put some poison on his food or something. And that is because he 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 coated the the Cooper Vault or maybe the lasers with one, two, and three. The simplest code you could ever ever make in history. And okay, these are these alligators with with uh, boxing gloves. Actually they have crab claws. It's like they kind of experimented on these guys, like this this is a crocodile that has crab hands. But this battle is pretty easy. I really like just playing as Murray and just fight all these coons because she, it only takes three punches to, uh, to defeat them. And I didn't buy any power-ups. I should have done that. You want a piece of me? Take this! And... Goodbye! There are more? Oh man! How many goons does this monkey have? Okay, it will soon be over, I think. Okay, I'm kind of overpowered. Yes, I got him! 
Oh no! Come on, Murray, you can survive this. <gasps> oh no! Okay, I can't do it. I can do it! Alright. I can make it. I can make it. Yeah! Man! Um. Okay, I just need a good opening. Because this is kind of hard. Whoa! I really do wish I have that flaming power up so that I can fry them easily. Guess I learned my lesson. If I didn't, if I didn't get that health, I would have been dead. Okay, I was wrong. They can actually survive three hits. Okay, I defeated some. No! I. Okay, I died. Of course, I died. These look like the last three they got. No more are coming in. Okay, that's good. That means just two more to go. Ooh! I hate those crocodiles. Get out of my sight. You're all knocked down, and the Murray stands tall. Like a freaking totem pole of strongism! Ah, Murray! You're much stronger than McSweeney ever was. That's right, Plughead! I'm like a semi-truck with its brakes cut! I don't have time to get in a screaming match with a caveman like yourself. Then lock horns with me. Think you'll find I'm a better match. I have no fight with you, Bentley. You and I are the same. I gather you were the technical specialist working with Sly's father? You knew Sly's dad? Quiet, caveman. The adults are talking. That's right, Bentley. I know the pain you suffer working under your inferior. It's no secret. I'm smarter than the other guys. But there's more to it than that. <laughs> like what? Like brotherhood. Brotherhood? <laughs> That's just what he wants you to think. It's a tool to keep you in line. Now that's the thing that keeps us happy and alive. It's why I'm going to stop you. And me too. Fine, Cooper Gang. I tried. Caveman attack! Caveman attack. And look, he's almost as strong as... He's... Yeah, he's almost just as strong as the... Wait a minute. Wait, Penelope knows what we're doing? She's not even inside the Cooper vault. Oh yeah, I have to put it on Dr. M's back. And something should happen. Yeah, apparently the statues can do that. Weirdness. And, okay, now the elephants are coming. Oh come on! You even using the grapples in with uh, uh, in this episode? I thought it was the last time we're ever going to see them in was in f episode five. Oh well, I guess I have to do that. Okay, he's done. Um. Okay, now I have to put it on his back again. See it, Doctor M. Get electrocuted. All right, and now I have to jump up again. The elephants are coming, right? Come on. Man, look how raging these elephants are. But they're dead. Just like always. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Now I have to put this on your back. I hope you like it. Okay, this is the last one. 
And the elephants are definitely coming again. Wait, there are four right now. Dang. I could have used the self-destruct button though. Okay, now. Going again. This boss this boss fight is pretty easy. Take that. But yeah, Dr. M is just as strong as Murray. He has the smartness and the strength. No! Well played, Bentley! <laughs> but it was a meaningless gesture. According to the tracking device I planted on Sly's cane, he's just entered the inner sanctum. I can use the collected position of data to get through the gauntlet with ease. That hauls for Cooper's only! Maybe it's time for men such as you and I to change all that. He's getting away! What do we do? I I'll think of something. Just give me time. You know something, Bentley? What? You think awesome. Thanks, pal. Apparently, he put some kind of uh, tracking device on a cane. How did he do that on such a thin object? True friendship. I like that. Like, that is some true plot device right there. Way to go, Dr. M. Way to go. This is just... overwhelming. Amazing. How did Thaddeus make a flying machine in the 1800s? Bet this thing still works. Oh, I'm sure it's operational. Dr. M, glad you could see all this. I know you've been looking forward to it. Looking forward to all this, and your death. Come on, aren't we supposed to Okay, this boss fight was actually one of the hardest I've ever beaten as a kid. Because here, you have to be very cautious. Like, try and uh, look all his attacks, and try not to get blown away by his electricity and fire attacks. Like, this, this final boss here actually has a lot of elements of surprise. Literally. Water, electricity, and fire. But I'll win this anyway, because I am Sly Cooper. And every time, and there's going to be a face. Oh, wait a minute, uh, I have to go right here, and the water's going to fall. Now you can attack him. Yes! Then that was the first phase, and the second is going to be about electricity. And the third one is... is fire, I think. I took a lot of damage from that one. But, this is actually the fastest way you... But this is the fastest boss fight where you can actually deplete his health quite easily. Die. Die. Okay, that was all that was all the electricity anchors he could spawn. After that, you just have to go back and attack him. But yeah, now he's going to electrocute you with everything he has. What? Oh, oh, no! Okay, that was close. Oh, no, no, no. He almost got me there. But yeah, when he does that that stomping attack, you see this electricity right, uh, right down under? That's what he's leaving. And when you touch it, you're gonna get hit. Oh, he did it again. Just go right over there and... No! You're as weak as your father. Take that back, monkey! Okay, again, grab him. This game is almost over. I'm not going to give up yet. What I do hate about this is that... There's grind... I mean, you're grinding on the lasers and you're trying to hook him. So this kind of happens when you just want to land on the hook and it just doesn't happen. But, I did it. Oh. Alright. Attack him! Attack him! I think I got him! Yes, I did! Easily. 
Okay, phase two again. And we just have to stand over there. And then he's using his laser. No thanks. I don't want to get electrocuted. <laughs> okay, it doesn't take much health, so it doesn't really matter how many times he beats me. Okay, maybe, maybe. <laughs> if only I have something to throw at him. Except for my cane. I don't want to make the same mistake as the as the prologue. This boss is still very hard. Like, even- I mean, a 10-year-old me can actually do it, so why can't I do it? Yes! Okay, phase 3, and this is where he's going to use fire attacks. And he's going to spawn a lot of that. It's much stronger than the other, uh, the other two phases. I feel very bad for the ancestors' cars just getting blown away because of him. And he's going to spawn up to 5. I can just memorize all that because PTSD. And it's gone. Yep. He's almost dead though. I can do it. Oh no! You're almost dead, dude! Let me get you! I hear what happens. It's just like Redling Super Smash. You've got some moxie, Sly. I'll give you that. I don't know what went down between you and my father, but I'm telling you, it's not the same with me and Bentley. You might be right. He risked his life to defend you. I do the same for him. Funny. Your father was never such a good friend. We're all individuals. I might be part of all this, a member of the Cooper line, but in the end, I'm just me. Not Henriette, Thaddeus, Slightly Common, Ryoichi, or my father. Just Sly. Please, keep your touchy feely rhetoric to yourself. I can't stomach it. You Coopers are a bunch of dirty, attention-grubbing thieves! All of you, thieves! Hold it right there! Both of you thieves are going to jail. Nice to see you, gorgeous. You too. Oh, I love interest. I might be beaten, but I'll make you suffer. Not her! Hero of Sacrifice! Don't worry, she's not dead. No one hurt my criminal! After that, we're doing a very easy fight where we're just basically shooting at him. And he's done. Very short, but a nice moment. What happened? Sly? Where are we? What is this place? Sly, can you remember anything? No. Who are you? You look familiar. I'm Inspector Carmelita Montoya Fox. And who am I? You? You're my partner, Constable Cooper. Well, partner, we'd better get out of here. The ceiling's gonna go. I haven't got much time. Let's go. Sly! You in here? Sly? We watched as Dr. M just stood there, unwilling to leave as the walls caved in on the vault. He'd spent his life lusting over the Cooper fortune, and he wasn't going to give it up, no matter what the cost. Our exit was a little rough, but Murray managed to get us out just in time to witness the final fate of the Cooper legacy. It was a bittersweet moment, the end of the road always is. We both looked on, lost in our thoughts, 
thinking back on all the adventures that had brought us here. The people we'd met and places we'd seen. We'd worked for a long time to get Sly into that great vault, and now its secrets were hidden again, this time for good. I could only hope that he'd found what he was looking for in there. We searched every inch of the island for Sly, retrieving the gang one by one, only to make the surprising discovery that he didn't want to be found. As always, he'd left a calling card. Only this time, it was worth millions. The months rolled by, and when Sly still hadn't shown up, Murray headed back east to complete his training with the Guru. Without Sly as our leader, for the first time we each had to step out on our own. A difficult thing we'd been together ever since we met at the orphanage. To this day, Murray and I are still close. Recently, he's been trying to break into the pro racing circuit, stock band class. Things are looking good. He's got a unique talent for living through crashes other people would have found fatal. Just always bounces clear. And of course, there's Penelope, my new partner in crime. Let me tell you, I'm in love. She and I have set out on a journey that I never would have dreamed of while running with Sly and Murray, although I hope our paths will cross again soon. So while this might be the end of our adventures together, it could be the start of something even bigger. Time will tell. Literally. Because I'm building a time machine to find out. Dimitri went on to become a celebrity skin diver. The ladies flocked to him, and so did the money. I got a postcard from him once. It said, I'm here, wish you were fine. Like me. He's his own man. The Panda King returned to China and lived a happy life living two doors down from his beloved daughter. She, of course, was pleased to have him screen all of her future suitors. As of yet, she's still unmarried. The Guru returned to the Outback and took on some new Dreamtime students. One of which was a high-profile rock star that brought a lot of unwanted media attention. Last I heard, he was hiding out in New York City. Figured it was the last place they'd ever look. devil. That was it for Slime 3, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this let's play. To think I started it ever since spring, and now it's the end. I didn't really want to talk at the credit because that's where Bentley is trying to narr narrate about the what everyone is doing, every protagonist is doing uh, after this whole adventure. It's bittersweet. He's not even talking about himself and Penelope and Murray, of course. Because they, they've already kind of explained what they're doing. But yeah, I've had, I've had so much fun just going through this game again after like many years ago. I will say still that Slyre 2 is the best 
but this one it may be my second favorite just because they kind of continue the story a little further like they made a new plot but and then and it really works and then when you go through all these flashbacks trying to get some more recruits for this for this top secret mission in honor among thieves and man what a adventure an adventure and fun fact after beating the after beating the episodes, you can go through all these different mis and master feed challenges. Some of them is about the countdowns. Sometimes it's about not taking any damage, or and all that stuff. Plus, you can look at the gallery and try to see all these concept arts that are for this entire game. I have to say, I look I always looked at some of these concept arts as a kid just because it, I find it so fascinating how they're able to draw all this. I'm not- I was not the biggest draw myself, but I'm- I'm practicing, actually. Yeah, so you can try and watch all that if you want to and beat this game 100%, but th that is it for me. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Let's Play, and I also don't know what to do right after. Maybe do some Let's- uh, some live streams and maybe try and focus on much bigger videos than I want to do. For example, a review or something. So yeah, so see you guys later at more uh, more about my channel and I'll try and think of something. So yeah, see you guys later, hope you enjoyed this video, and goodbye. I do miss Sly Cooper, why doesn't he return in the movie or something?